So before moving on to do the next thing, I saw as I was reviewing the last video that we need to get rid of these refactoring comments. I probably should have put a to do in there saying get rid of, rid of these refactoring comments because if we came back a while later, probably even a week or two later, I, I'd be like, whoa, why do I have this out here? What's well, why was that significant? And really, that was just kind of debug stuff I was using to put get myself through those refactorings. I just closed those last two windows. Uh, I think I'll close this one as well. Now, if you remember, the whole reason why we're doing this clock thing, the refactorings, and we wrote the profiler was so we could say, hey, this is good. This is going to take some time. I don't know how much time. I hope I can measure it on a more granular level. Hopefully, I'm my CPU is granular enough to do this and and so I want to make a clock initialize it start it stop it add an entry and then shut it down and that's cool but now I want to profile this as well All right well I don't need to make a new clock but I need to initialize the clock actually you know what we can just put the shutdown down here like so yeah yeah I'm, see where I'm going with this we can say clock dot start Take a timing clock dot stop, and then profiler add an entry. Let's just copy this, paste that right there, and we're going to call this vector transform. That is the category for that profile, and then we'll shut down the clock when we're done. Well, that's not too bad, but it's getting kind of clunky. This is going to become highly unmaintainable very quickly because now we have to say, well, start, stop this thing start stop and and we have to initialize we have to remember to initialize we got the shutdown and oh this is going to become a headache and so what's one way we can get around this i'm going to show you a way i don't know if it's the best way but it's definitely much better than copy paste copy paste move this around my pollute my code make it less readable blah 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 let's let me let me show you a way to kind of centralize it abstract ourselves from all these ugly details and uh and hopefully make this a lot easier on us and make it more maintainable and clean up our code. So let me show you the syntax I want to go for. First of all, I'm going to get rid of all this clock, start, stop. So, well, maybe we'll keep this around just for a minute. KC, KC, control KC, sorry. And get rid of all that. Uh, I want to really all, out of all this code I have here, most of which is commented out now, this is what I'm interested in timing. All right, so I want to say, let's let's introduce another level of scope here and just say, uh, actually, this op here, we use it down here. So we need to define it out here and then do an assignment there. A little less efficient because this will have to construct the identity matrix, and then we override it with the assignment operator. But but really, the thing I'm trying to profile here is, is uh, the multiplication, the matrix multiplication. How long is that going to take? And if I really wanted to be hardcore, I could get rid of the assignment operation and be sure that my compiler doesn't optimize this out and just check and profile that. Anyway, this scope here defines what I want to profile. All right, so this is where I want to go. I want to say profile matrix multiplication, and I'm not sure why. I did all caps. Let's do control U U U U U control U U U like so. And then I am going to get rid of all this. Just clean it up. And then down here, let's add another level of scope that I want. And all the scope is doing is just giving us a scope to profile. I just want to profile this little portion. And ideally, I'd probably put this in a function. Eh, whatever. And again, profile profile. Uh, vector transform mation. How about that? Okay, so you see, hopefully this is getting a little cleaner. I'm just getting little subsections I want to profile. I don't have all the clock initialized, clock shut down, profiler dot add entry. This is all I want to type. All right, and the reason why I type this in uppercase is I'm going to make a macro that we're going to use to do some work for us here. Um, but let, before we make that macro, let's actually make a class or a struct. Eh, doesn't really matter. Let's let's make something that will automatically do all that stuff that I commented out. Let me get all that stuff I commented out back in. I'm just going to highlight this, copy it for our reference. Control Y, bring all that 
those changes back in. Let's go over to the engine and into profiling, add new item. Let's add a header file. We will call it, let's call it, uh, I don't know, profile. Yeah, we'll call it profile. Sounds good. Add if and def. Uh, what was the. Just double click debug. Okay, see how we say debug here. So I'm going to be consistent. Debug profile H. Control L, Control V, V, pound define, Control N, pound undef. Oh, you know, and if. And I'll just start with a struct for now. And we're going to call it profile. And let's put it in the profiling namespace just like. Profiler.h. So I'll grab that namespace, paste it here, curlies, control A, control K, F, control L. Well, I did, actually did a control shift L there, so I didn't lose what was in my clipboard, so I can hit control V. And of course, <laughs> the stuff I, I copied here and wanted to paste over here. I lost because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Let me control Z back to get all this commented out code. Highlight all this. Control C. Go over here. Just dump it in here for now. Go over here. Hold down control Y. And that'll bring back everything. Okay. Uh, profile. And the, the only purpose of this, this struct is on construction, I want to do this stuff. And on destruction, I want to do that. All right, it's an automatic way of saying, hey, let's do these things, let's do that thing, let's abstract away a little bit. And when the destructor runs, we'll add the entry uh, and call it good. So let's, uh, let's first make a constructor profile, like so. And let's do the destructor, Control-C, Control-VV, Control or shift tilde. And I'm going to put this in here, control K F and we'll put this control X in here. I got it wrong. This is the construction stuff. I'm going to move this up to the control construction stuff. Control A, control K F, control L L L L L L L L L and hopefully you're starting to see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, if I make one of these instances over here, let me do a new vertical tab group, and we'll just keep that off to the right. If I come in here, instead of saying this, I'm going to say profile P, or profile instance, whatever you want to call it, just let, let's call it P, be nice and short. But now I can say, well, profile P, and this will call the constructor, which will make a clock, initialize the clock, start the clock, and then down here, when we hit the closing curly, the destructor will execute, thus stopping the clock and adding an entry into the profiler. All right, hopefully you're you're catching that there. Let me let's uh, actually make this do just that. Control K U, Control K U. Obviously, I'm using the clock down here, which means this needs to widen in scope here, which makes me think this actually needs to be a class because I don't want people outside of the class to be concerned with data members that do not need to be concerned with one the only one probably we'll have in this class is the clock okay so let's uh, make a CPP file for this profile so add new item CPP file profile and I probably should have done just added a class originally but whatever we'll go down here control C over here, control V. Oh, my fonts are so big. Copy this. Control Shift L L L L paste two colons. Um, grab this again. Prefix the destructor with the same tokens. I mean get rid of this. Control A, Control K F, Control Enter, Pound include profile dot H. And I'm actually remembering ahead of time. Well, we can get rid of these now, so we defined them in the CPP file. But like I can say, we gotta do that decal spec 
declaration specification DLL export because we are going to consume this outside of our engine project and I actually should make a debug tools project just so we don't have this wrapped up in our engine project. We'll probably do that in a video soon. Uh, we made the profile dot h profile dot cpp. Let's just see if we can build. Control shift b build started. Wait for it. I know it's coming and IntelliSense errors. Get rid of those. Uh, oh, we don't have the clock. Let's pound include the clock. Pound include uh, profile. Um, yeah, we'll do. Where is that? It's a timing. Okay. Timing slash clock. Control shift B. What are we missing here? Oh, we need the, we need to specify the namespace. And I believe it was timing. Yep. Okay. Timing, colon, colon, control should be profile, good. This is more like what I'm trying to get here. Let's just make sure. Now why, oh, do these need to be in the namespace? Namespace, profiling, control and curly, control A, control KF, control should be, ah, good. We're starting to get some real errors, except we don't have profiler here, so we need a pound include. Uh, debug tools, profiling, profiler.h, good to go, control shift B. I probably shouldn't hit control shift B so often. If you have a lot of build errors, and your build times take a long time, then hitting control shift B, just to reset your errors down here like I do, uh, is not the most efficient way to work. Let me see here, now we're getting, yeah, so it's just complaining about these lines of code I put in there. Let me, uh, I just want to make sure we get a clean build before we start uh, using this. Very good. So now, over here, I need to be more diligent about my include path. But here we go. Let's let's uh, profile dot eight. So let's bring in, put it right here. Pound include debug tools slash profiling slash profile dot h uh, no longer need the profiler All right, that'll take that in this compilation unit right here this mygl.window.cpp all I want to worry about actually we do do the initialization of the profiler in here so do I? I think I do yep we do so I'm actually going to leave this included there but if we weren't initializing the profiler in this file and the profile class was the only one we were going to interface with, then I'm going to get rid of this unnecessary include. But this include is not unnecessary in this file because we are doing the initialization of the profiler in here. All right, control minus, control minus. I'm going to control minus for a while until we get back to where we were. Now I should be able to say this uh, like so. Let me put a, let's do profiling. There we go, profiling, profile. And look, we can't pass a const char star in. We can't. That's the category, if you remember. That's the category we're trying to use. So const char star category. And I'm going to say this category. Oh, I can just feel some of my coworkers yelling at me if I don't use the initialization. There's a difference between uh, initialization versus assignment. And... Uh, and uh, I'm going to use the initializer list. I actually have videos on that in the C++ playlist if you're interested. Let's update our constructor here. Const char star category. Save. And build. Build started. Linker errors. Linker errors. Category. Oh. Yeah, we need a category here. Const char star category. Build succeeded. Okay. So I think we're good. Now, in the next video, we want to take care of two things. One, we want to be able to write this instead of this. 
uh, just to make it a little bit cleaner for us and more convenient. We also want to make sure that this compiles out. Remember the profiler class. Um, we spent all that time with the actual profiler class. If I can get that back up, let me close these windows here. Control Alt L. If you remember in that profiler class, we did all that uh, profiling on, profiling off stuff to compile out the code as much as possible so that at runtime, when we ship our game and we want to speed it up or even in debugging, maybe we want to turn off the profiler just see if we can get our frame rates up without having the profiler get in the way, then we can conditionally compile this out so it like vaporizes, which is awesome. Anyway, we want to do that with our, our profile class and also we want to do some sample profiling.